I found 16 of the laziest ways to make money online. And almost all of these are going to be great for beginners. So with that being said, go ahead and cheers the like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is scanning your shopping receipts. And there's actually several different ways that you can do this, but one of the main apps is going to be Ibotta. And Ibotta is basically a platform where users can earn cashback rewards by scanning their shopping receipts and eligible purchases. And it's perfect for beginners because it basically requires minimal effort. All you have to do is be able to scan a receipt. And it's uncommon because many people don't realize they can even earn money from their everyday purchases. And Ibotta has a lot of really good ratings online on various different websites. And on top of being able to scan receipts, you also get really good cashback rewards as much as 30% for different types of retailers. So just to give a few examples, you've got the Home Depot, Best Buy, Hotels.com, eBay, Priceline, Walmart, Sam's Club, Kohl's, Chewy, Groupon, and Old Navy. So if you're going to be doing shopping at these places anyways, you might as well use Ibotta because they feature these ones and 2,000 other retailers. So yeah, you're not going to get rich doing this. The most you'd make is maybe an extra 50 or 100 bucks a month. But with that being said, it's super easy to do, super beginner friendly, very accessible, also doesn't take that much time. And if you're going to be shopping at these places, anyways, you might as well get the cash back and also scan your receipts. So I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be very funny. Um, I'm kind of adding it as a joke, but there are real people making money from this. And that is starting a psychic gig. So if you're one of those people that believes that you can read the mind or be able to tell the future or something along those lines, then this might be a good opportunity for you. So basically what you do is you give psychic readings, predictions, and you give advice on various different life matters. And you could do this on different platforms like Psychic Source or Keen, or you could just do it independently on platforms like Fiverr. So there are legit stories of people making really good money doing this. For instance, this 33 year old quit her full time sales job to start her own business. Now she brings in $119,000 a month as a shaman. There's also this hilarious story of a guy who started a psychic gig on Fiverr, and he was offering wealth spells, palm reading and putting curses on people's enemies. And then he said he would literally just copy and paste spells or maybe use a palm reader app and then he would get five to twenty dollars per order but he said it got really weird when one of his customers asked him to curse and kill his next door neighbor but yeah there are these apps online like keen.com where you see these people are doing a ton of different readings right this person's done over a thousand readings they've got a 4.8 star rating this person's done 461 readings and they've got a 5.0 star rating. So there are real people out there that are making real money on these websites. Now, I personally don't believe in any of this stuff, but you know, who am I to judge, I guess? I mean, these guys are charging like $1 per minute. So they're making like 60 bucks an hour doing this. That's not bad. So yeah, I will semi jokingly give this one an opportunity score of five out of 10. All right, so if you're exhausted with your nine to five, pay close attention. These were my earnings after a few months of doing YouTube when I was working as a full-time pharmacist. And a short time after that, I was making more from YouTube than I was at my pharmacist job. And because of this, I was able to quit my job, travel the world, and have time, freedom, and location independence. And I'm gonna be doing a live training where I walk you through the five simple steps that enabled me to do this and how you can use these five steps to have success on YouTube as well. And if you sign up now, you can also get a free mini course that I will only be giving out during the live training. Now the live training is going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday and you can check the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below just to make sure we got the right time for you. Now there is limited seating for the live training because it's actually going to be a live Zoom session with me. So we can only have so many people show up to it. So it's kind of a first come first serve type of thing. So definitely click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to reserve your spot. And to be honest with you, I usually charge $1,000 an hour for my consulting sessions. And these are the same types of things that I would tell people, but I'm giving this away to you for free. And there's also going to be a Q&A session where you can ask me any questions that you have about YouTube. Now, all of this will only be available during the live session. There's no replays and it's not going to happen anywhere else. So you absolutely have to show up to it. So make sure you click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You don't want to miss out on this. Also, make sure you put it in your calendar, mark out some time, make sure you're not busy so that you can fully pay attention and take notes. And I look forward to seeing you there. All right. The next side gig that you can do 
going to be a little harder than some of the other ones on this list, but it's still not that difficult. And that's going to be Instagram shout outs. Now, there's kind of a underground sort of market of these people who will basically shout your account out on Instagram and they'll drive a bunch of traffic to your account. And then you basically pay them for those shout outs. And then if you're able to make money from that traffic, it's worth it. And this is something that's actually extremely common. In fact, there's people that have mastered this and they're making like a million dollars a month doing this. But with that being said, there's people who are starting these shout out accounts. And a lot of the time they'll get paid 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars for a shout out. Now you do have to have a large account and it has to be a legit account as well. And it does take some time to grow those types of accounts. But typically they're kind of like meme accounts, right? They're very easy to grow. You post a bunch of memes that are related to the subject and that's how you grow them. But this is a legit way to make money. I mean, it's not super difficult to grow these types of accounts. It does take some time, but it's a 100% legit way of making money. And like I said, you can charge anywhere from like 50 to $500 for a shout out. So I'll go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. By the way, it's not just Instagram, you can do this same thing on TikTok as well. And it's basically where you shout out another TikTok, you send a bunch of traffic over to them, and then hopefully they're able to monetize it. And then they would pay you a certain amount of money. In some cases, you might also shout out a product and you would make anywhere from 10 to $500 to do this. So again, you do have to have a large TikTok in order to do this. But yeah, this one can be pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be watching videos. So yeah, you can actually get paid to watch videos through platforms like Givi. And all you have to do is just simply download the app, open it, then you start watching videos and you will be making money. So you'd get paid about 1,000 to 3,000 Givy coins for every single video you watch. But the only problem is you have to make about 10,000 Givy coins in order to earn one cent. So you have to watch several videos just to earn a single cent, basically. So you're not going to be making a lot of money with this. But if you're going to be watching videos anyways, you might as well get paid to do it. And it's a super passive way of making money while you're just relaxing anyways. So I'll go ahead and give this one a 5.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you want to actually be the one making the videos, I think that's a much better opportunity. That, of course, is going to take some extra work. But it's actually easier than ever to grow on YouTube because YouTube is boosting smaller channels right now. And I don't know how long this is going to last. So you definitely want to take advantage of this as fast as you can. And I actually do offer coaching to a few people every month. We're very picky about who we give coaching to because we only offer it to people who are basically very qualified and we know we can get them results. And so basically we only offer it to people who work really hard and they have the right mindset and they'll listen to what we actually tell them to do. But if you think you are one of those people that can do this, go ahead and apply. I'll put the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And even if you don't want to apply, there's some free training in that same link. I kind of go over like how YouTube works and everything. So you can definitely check that out as well. Next is going to be making money by walking with sweat coin. Yes, this is actually a coin that will pay you to just walk around. So while you're exercising, you'll be exercising your bank account as well. And believe it or not, there's over 10 million people that are using sweat coin. So this is not going to be like a full time income, you basically might make some beer money by putting this on at all times. But still, it's extremely passive, extremely easy, beginner can do it and you will make money. It's not a scam. So I'll go ahead and give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a Netflix tagger. So if you are somebody who likes to Netflix and chill or just Netflix, whatever you prefer, this might be a great opportunity for you because basically what you do is you just watch shows and then you categorize them, right? Have you ever been looking for a show to watch and you hover over a Netflix show and it says that it's a gritty dark drama or a psychological thriller? or a romantic comedy, well, there was somebody who probably tagged that. In fact, there were probably many different people who tagged that show. And believe it or not, you can make $35,000 to $85,000 a year doing this. Now, this is something you have to basically apply for. Um, I'll put the sort of link up on the screen for you and the, the application. So unfortunately, this isn't something where you can just download an app and start doing it. But with that being said, if you're somebody who watches a lot of Netflix anyways, this sounds like a dream job to me because you just get to watch a bunch of shows and then tag them. So I'll go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment any of these that you've maybe tried yourself or any of these that you really like or some that you think I should have mentioned in the video but I didn't 
I'd love to hear your opinion down below and I might include it in a future video. A lot of the time I do get these ideas and I start doing the research because people commented on the video. So I really appreciate your guys' feedback. Definitely leave comments down below. I always love to hear from you. Next one is going to be the stock market, right? So I think everybody's aware of this one. You do have to actually have money to do this, but you can just invest your money. If it's gonna be in your bank anyways, you might as well be doing it. Just invest your money and you get a certain amount back. And in some cases it might be every single month if you get dividend payouts, for instance. So typically the stock market goes up about 10%. I think it's like 8% if you adjust for inflation every single year. Sometimes it goes down a little bit. For the most part, it goes up about 10% every single year. So instead of just leaving it in the bank and letting inflation eat away at it, you might as well get paid a little bit of money back, right? So obviously I think everyone knew about this one. I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10 opportunity score. It's amazing, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I think you guys already know about it. Next is going to be uploading AI generated photos and videos. And the website you can use is wirestock.io. So basically you get really good with prompts. You get really good using something like mid journey. For instance, you create a bunch of different AI related images and videos. You upload them to this website and other people have the ability to license them and use them. And there's this guy who popped up on my TikTok, and he was making about over $1,500 a month just from uploading AI generated photos on Wirestock, right? So there are real people making real money doing this. You also get 85% of the royalties. So you get 85% of the money if someone ends up buying your photo so that they can actually use it. So yeah, I think that's a great opportunity. Honestly, AI videos especially are an amazing opportunity if you know what people are searching for. AI videos are starting to get really good and I can see this being really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Something very similar to this, except it's for music, is mubert.com. And this is basically where you generate AI related music, then you upload it and if people end up buying it and using it, again, for royalties, you get paid. So it does require a little bit of skill, like you have to be able to recognize that the music's actually good, you know, so you have to be musically inclined, but it is relatively easy to use. You know, it's not that hard to generate this AI music and then you get paid whenever people do it. And Mubert does pay out about 80% of every single sale to you, right? So that's pretty good. I don't see this one as being as good because I just think music is one of those things that's so artistic and it changes all the time that AI is not gonna be as good at making that kind of thing, but I'll still go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score because I think it's really interesting. Next is going to be SMS cash back. And this is where you can turn your texts into cold hard cash because who knew texting could be more than just ghosting your ex and dodging group chats. It's time to make some money with it. That's right, SMS cashback basically pays users in return for giving out their unused SMS and you can access it by downloading the SMS cashback app or other apps or platforms that do the same. And here's a list of other platforms that basically do the same thing. I'll have them pop up on the screen. But yeah, you're probably not gonna make too much money per month. They say about $54 a month is what you could realistically make. And that's enough to maybe buy a few meals, especially in this inflationary environment, but pretty much completely passive. So gotta love it. You know, it's a little bit of extra money per month. You download a bunch of these different types of apps and then all of a sudden you're making a couple hundred extra bucks a month, right? Not too bad. I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that's very similar is repocket.co. And this is basically where you sell your unused internet. So if you're not using your internet connection, you can actually just share it with other people and you can get paid to do that. And if you share your internet connection with just two different devices, you'll probably make about $24 a month. So depending on your internet, that might pay for a significant amount of your internet bill. So yeah, it's another really good one. So again, you know, 50 bucks there, 20 bucks here, another hundred bucks there. It really does add up overall. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is very similar and it's going to be proxy rack. So this is basically where you can rent out different proxies for various different tasks that people want to do on the internet. This could be something like web scraping, data mining, or bypassing geo restrictions. Now it has excellent reviews on Trustpilot, even though it sounds a little sketchy. From my research, it has really good reviews. And in terms of the earnings, you would earn about 50 cents per gigabyte. So again, not too much, maybe like 
20 bucks a month, something like that, maybe even up to 40, but still it's better than nothing. And if you're wasting those gigabytes anyways, might as well get paid for them. So another very similar one where you can kind of rent out your internet is gonna be Honey Gain. Not gonna go over it because it's basically the same thing. I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be typing captchas. Yes, those annoying things that pop up when you try to enter your password and they wanna make sure that you're not a robot. And so you have to complete them and there's websites out there that actually test captchas. So there's websites out there like 2Captcha or Coloti Bablo, Coloti Bablo, interesting name, where you can get paid for typing captchas. And on 2Captcha.com, for instance, you would get paid $1 for every 1,000 correct captchas. Now, that's a lot of captchas that you have to do. I mean, you could probably earn like, I don't know, five to eight dollars in a day doing this. So it'd be less than minimum wage. So for that reason, it is legit. You can make money, but it's probably not good for people watching this from a first world English speaking country. And so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a four out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be QMe, and this is where you can get paid for browsing online, right? So you're just browsing the internet, maybe you participate in some surveys, you do some shopping online, and you just enable QMe, and you get paid for that. It's pretty much that simple. Now, the earnings are very minimal, but you know, it isn't a scam. You actually do make money from this one, but again, maybe an extra 20 bucks a month, something like that, but you're not really having to do anything extra. So, you know, might as well do it, right? I'll give this one a five out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made a video that did extremely well. People absolutely loved it. It was 19 side hustle ideas that actually work in 2024. And you can check that out by clicking right here.